when I'm dancing, it's just coming from inside me. That is my release. I'm a very physical person and I need to just feel things through my whole self. Dancing always was a cathartic way to explore my emotions and everything kind of flows from that. When I was training, that was all encompassing, just that striving for perfection, and I didn't dance for myself. On stage, you have such elation. Everybody is always watching. That's why you're doing it. My identity was just in this aura of perfection. Following my departure from that, I missed it a lot. I would tell people, oh, I'd do anything to be back there right now. When I stopped dancing professionally, I was very injured, body, soul, spirit, in every way. I ended up at a climbing gym as I was moving on the wall and exploring these interesting shapes and holds and textures. I was fitting myself into an environment and I'm exploring it and climbing somehow was healing me. I think I found out really quickly that that was more me than anything I'd ever done. I like being terrified. It teaches me to just rely a little bit on the world around me. It teaches me to be less afraid, and then I'm able to experience something that I was afraid of and how wonderful that it can be. When you're climbing, you're not being perfect. It's just following your surroundings somewhere, following yourself somewhere. You're just letting the other parts of you speak. I kind of need it just floating, letting go and being present in the moment. So it teaches me to, to trust a little bit. The wall kind of dictates how your whole body moves. You're not holding on to the rock, the rock's holding on to you. You're not trying to be perfect. The way it moves, I'm gonna move and I'm gonna fit myself into those spaces that it creates. That was a discovery. Climbing is like dancing. No less important and no less sincere. I started dancing for myself for the first time and that became the way to just work through the shapes that are around me to the sounds that I'm hearing. Movement is about a lot of contrasts. Sharpness, softness, flow. It's a completeness when you can have all of these different layers. And sometimes the shapes and the space and the sounds are all I need. Dancing has just become like a prayer, just an outpouring of expression continuously, and it happens all the time. I can't have one without the other. I didn't used to be happy. And I remember when that reality changed. That person that I was is so far from the person that I became since. There's nothing requiring me to be a certain way. Letting go and realizing that I can find so much good just being, just existing in a really honest way.